Hi folks, it's Lyndon here from Rabbit Matched. Today we're going to be talking about setting up a live workflow between Unreal Engine as well as Blender. So um, a live workflow is really great because when you have assets that you're working on regularly and you need to tweak them, instead of having to save them, export them, and then re-import them into Unreal Engine, um, you can just use a plugin or an add-on um, that's been in development by Epic Games. Um, that will basically automate that whole process for you so you don't have to worry about the FBX settings and all the rest of that stuff. So um, in order to get the add-on, um, you just need to jump on to the Epix Games um, GitHub account. So you'll need to link your GitHub account to the Epic Games GitHub account. If you don't know how to do that, you can read my previous posts that will explain uh, a lot of that for you. Once you've linked that, go ahead to the Blender Tools repo and inside there you'll find links to Center Unreal. Um, You'll want to make sure that you're activating or utilizing the latest plugin. As you'll notice over here, these plugins are updated quite regularly. As you can see, UE2 Rigify was updated six hours ago. Um, so it's best, uh, it's highly recommended that you use the latest um, plugin. They are heavily under development. Just go ahead and download Send to UE. That's the one that we're going to be interested in. And then from Blender, you want to go ahead and um, install that add-on. So we're just going to jump into Blender and we're going to install the add-on which we will find in my downloads and it should be in here. Sent to Unreal. There it is. 1.4.11 1 and install the add-on. Great. And there it is. Now you'll notice that as soon as I activate the add-on I'll get a new menu option up here and there it is, the new menu option, which is pipeline. And this is where all of the magic really happens. Um, with this pipeline option, um, when we export from Blender, Blender's going to look for the Unreal process running in the background. So you'll need a copy of Unreal running already in the background like we have over here. So one of the other um, things I wanted to point out is in the preferences section, you'll see there's a path. Um, there's a path tab over here. Um, within the path tab, you can specify default naming conventions for the assets that you want to import. So we're just going to go ahead and create an asset here. And of course, what other asset would be better suited than Suzanne? So there's Suzanne. We're going to import her into Unreal Engine. So um, from here, what we could do is go ahead Okay, so we're good to go. We're happy with the um, parts. We're just going to use the default names, which is, um, uh, so we're going to be using meshes. So, of course, Suzanne's just a mesh. And we're going to have to find her within our assets of Unreal under untitled category, um, untitled asset. We'll talk about that when we get to that point. All right, so um, one other thing that you'll notice is up here within our collections, we have these new collections that have been just added for us um, because we activated the Sentinel and Real plugin. Um, what we want to do is make sure that when we have a static mesh that we're trying to import, we must drag that static mesh into the mesh um, collections. Only um, assets that are within these collections will be exported. So all the rest of our assets which um, will be ignored, which is great because you don't want to export the whole scene um, every time we do this. So if we were to go ahead and try to export at this point in time, you'll see that we're going to run into some issues. So if we go ahead and click send to Unreal, Blender is going to complain um, that it can't find the asset, uh, sorry, it can't find the um, the confined Unreal Engine. So as you can see, that didn't work. A couple of things that we need to do in order to make sure that it does work is first we need to go into our plugin section. Uh, we're going to look for our Python. There it is. Um, one in Python editor script plugin. We need that to be enabled. Going to say yes, and Unreal is going to tell us we need to restart now. So let's just go ahead and restart that engine. Okay, one of the other things that we need to do is allow remote execution for Python scripts. As you know, Blender's um, primary scripting language for writing add ons is in Python. So um, 
all of the add-ons code is being written in Python. If you wanted to download the source code for the add-on, that is also available for you. And um, you'll need to find that within the Blender Tools repo on uh, the Epic Games um, account. Great, so let's have a look. We're almost there at 55%, so this uh, does take a while. Um, starting up Unreal on Linux is a little bit slower than Windows, I've found. Um, I don't think that's related primarily to the hardware itself, um, but for whatever the reasons, that is the case. So I'm using Ubuntu Linux, and... Um, it works equally, the plugin works equally as effective on Linux as it does on Windows, which is great. Um, of course, that is something that we want. So we're just going to jump off of here and we're going to come back in as soon as um, the editor has loaded. La -da -da, la -da -da. There we go. Great, so now that we're back in the editor, um, we can go ahead and finish off our configuration for working with Center Unreal. So like I said, first thing we needed to do was go to our plugin section and make sure that the Python script editor was available to us as well as going to our project settings now. And within project settings, we're just going to search for the remote keyword under our plugins Python section. You'll find Python remote execution. Enable remote execution. You want to make sure that script is checked. All right. So with that all good to go, we're going to go ahead and um, close that. Jump back into Blender and with our Suzanne mesh under our mesh um, collections, we're just going to go ahead and save this file and export to Unreal. There you go. As you can see, when we export to Unreal, we see the um, quick sort of progress bar jump up there. We go into our Unreal editor, and inside there, we now have our untitled category, um, our untitled category directory within our assets component, uh, component browser, and within untitled asset there is Suzanne. We can click Suzanne into here and quite easily um, import her as such into our editor. Great. So of course if we wanted to make some tweaks to Suzanne that wouldn't be a problem. We could go ahead and say pull out some vertices here if we wanted to. So let's just go ahead and do that then shall we. Grab a vertice there and grab another vertice here and cool jump out of there and we can save that if we want to and go ahead and export that into Unreal and you'll see when we jump back into our editor automatically those changes have been applied.